Yes, I got a, a email about uh, a phone that was bought with my account. How can that be possible? Because I didn't I haven't used my Amazon account in over a week. So you're saying that you have received an email uh, in which you are informed that you have purchased a phone? Yes. And when did you receive the email? It was today. I was at work. I couldn't deal with it till now. Okay. So, uh, may I know, like, uh, have you called on that number or you have searched on Google uh, the Amazon number? No, I called the number that, that kept called me. All right, so just allow me a minute. Can you please help me out with your email address so that I can check, like, if anything is ordered from your account or not? Akno44 at teleworm.us. O C K N O four four at T E L E W O R M dot U S. All right, sir. And are you sure that you haven't ordered it? Like none of your family member or anybody? No, no, I don't buy anything for my family. They don't deserve it. Okay. I mean, do you buy stuff for your family? A thousand dollar of iPhones? <laughs> yeah, like uh, just in case if they need it. Really? Well. Not me. My my family's lucky if I'll give them a kick in the arse, you know what I mean? I understand that, sir. No worries, I'm just checking it. Okay, let me do one thing, sir. Let me go ahead and uh, connect you without verification server as I can check there is an iPhone which has been ordered as well as there is an iPad which is also ordered from your... Oh, jeez, I, I didn't get a notification about the iPad. How much is that? Uh, well, sir, it is for $7.99. See, we're talking about two thousand dollars worth of purchases here without my permission. That's fraud. That's fraudulent on Amazon's part. Yes. yes, sir. So that's why what I can do, do is I can go ahead and connect you without verification server, verify your account, and cancel all these transactions. Okay. And after that, I will also secure your account from any kind of fraud and charges or anything like that. Well, I think Amazon's responsible for this, and I think that you all are guilty of uh, allowing fraudulent activity. Sir, do not worry. Uh, we will be able to go ahead and close it, uh, close each and everything. Okay. We are going to go ahead and uh, close all the transactions as well. Okay. So in order to go ahead and connect you with our verification server, may I know, like, do you have a cell phone, which is an Android or an iPhone? Uh, I have an Android. Okay. Please go ahead and open up the Play Store on your Android phone. All right. Why do I? Why don't I just open the Amazon app? Sorry, sir. Why don't I just open the Amazon app? Sir, I'm need, I need to connect you with our verification server, so you have to go ahead and uh, verify it with our verification server. So that's why you need to download an app. From now wait a minute. This this is before I let you on my phone. You got to answer some questions. Is that fair? Yeah, sure. Okay, so you allow people to get into my account and order two thousand dollars worth of computer crap, and they weren't asked to be verified, but you're asking me to verify. Sir, I'm basically not verifying anything. I'm just going to connect you with our verification server so that I can verify your account to cancel those information. I do not need any of your information or anything like that. So basically you're saying I don't need to be verification, but I need to get verified through the verification server to be verified. Sir, the verification server very verify any kind of fraudulent charges or anything like that. If you have any kind of fraudulent charges, then we can directly go ahead and verify it and cancel it, sir. The persons who have uh, like done these charges, they are the hackers. They have hacked into your account. They do not need any kind of permission or any kind of access, sir. Well, they better not have access to my account anymore. Sure, sir. So you can go ahead and down open up Play Store and download the AnyDesk application from there. Uh, hold on. I'm going to open a Play Store up. What's it called? Pay Store? Are you telling me I have to pay to have this investigation done? No, sir, not an investigation. Well, you said Pay Store? Play Store, sir, Play Store. Oh, Play Store. Yes. And from the Play Store, you need to download an app. Download an app? What's the app? That is AnyDesk. It's AnyDesk, I will spell that out for you. It's A, like Apple. Uh-huh. A? N like November. A is in what? N like November. November? Y as in yellow. Yellow? D like David. E like David? You mean D? E like 
E like what? E like David. E like oh, Paul. D like David, okay. Yes? E elephant. E is in what? Elephant. E like elephant. Okay, E is an elephant. S like Sam. S like Sam, okay. And K like. K like who? Any day. K like what? Like, like kite. Like kite. Kite. What the hell is kite? K like kite. K like kite. Okay. Any desk. Yes, I see it here. Any desk remote desktop install. Yes. Yes. Install it. Okay. Now what? Now you need to open it. Okay. It says privacy statement. Yes, click on it. Why do I have to do all this privacy crap when I'm not the one that stole stuff and order stuff fraudulently in my account? I can understand that, sir. Well, can't you see how frustrating this is? That I'm being treated like a criminal when some criminal ordered $2,000 worth of Apple garbage on my account. Well, sir, I'm not treating you like a criminal. I'm no, I'm not saying you are. I'm saying the, the, the process is the, the process is treating me like a criminal. All right. It's, what it says settings. Now it's the settings page came up. Now click on the back arrow, and then you will see a tutorial kind of thing. Yeah. Now, now over there, there will be a nine-digit number which you can provide me, which says your desk or anything like that, your ID. Hold on. I'm, I'm gonna click outside this thing okay do I put that number under remote address no no you have to give me that number I give it to you and that's gonna cancel my stuff yeah so I will go ahead and guide you with each and every step after you connect with the verification server but you're saying as soon as I give you this number I'm done and my accounts been verified and you don't have to I can go uh, no, sir, about my business the, once you provide me the number, you will be connected with our verification server. And after that, I will guide you with another process to cancel this payment, okay? Okay. Now, you will be receiving a security warning from my end. You know, I find, it, I find it a little suspicious that all these security warnings come up when I'm trying to get my account straightened out. But no security warnings came up when someone ordered $2,000 worth of Apple on my account. Yes, you know that uh, how hackers work. They do not need any kind of security warning. They do not need any of uh, permissions or anything like that. So they do stuff with an illegal way. So whenever you somebody do anything from illegal way, they do not need any kind of permission. But when we have to do it in the legal way, we have to go through processes and stuff. That's a good point. That's what. It is. That's a good point. You score a point with that one. So that's what it is, sir. So okay. I'm just trying to achieve over here. Gotcha. So now have received the security warning. Say what? Did you receive any security warning which says I trust this call or anything like that? I don't see anything. You uh do you have the any desk app open? You have the number right in front of you? The app right in front of me. Oh, yeah, I just told you the number. Okay, uh, it's five one seven one zero six two two one, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm sending you the connection request. It says, uh, it says it's not right. Uh, let me just try to send it to you once again. Okay? Can you please let me know the numbers once again? Yes. Uh. Can you just check like if your internet is turned on? Can you just check it, sir? Yeah, I mean I'm I'm right here on the thing. I wouldn't be able to get on this. I don't have data, uh, so what? Uh, well you have to turn on the internet connection, sir. I have an internet connection. I don't have data, I have data off. 
I'm at home, so I'm on the Wi-Fi. You have the Wi-Fi turned on, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, can you just close the application, any desk application, and can you just, uh, like, uh, turn it on? Because I guess the internet is not working on this. Uh, I don't like you insulting my internet. I pay a shit ton of money for this internet. And it works all the time. I don't have any issues ever with it. I I've got a point, sir. I've got a router. I've got a router that could reach f freaking outer space. So it's not my Wi-Fi. It's on. I see the lights blinking. Everything's good. I wouldn't be able to get on anything if the Wi-Fi was off because I don't use data. Mm -hmm. uh, try to do one thing, sir. Try to close the application and try to bring it back. Okay. Do I download it again? No, no, sir. Just open it. Like, close it and open it. It says plug in activation. Okay, now press the back button once again. Now you have the 96. My router is a size as my Dr. Baystard's freaking Maine Coon cat. Okay, it's the same number. I'm going to give it to you again. All right, it's five one seven one zero six two two. Yes. Okay, I'm trying to send it to you once again. Uh, try to do one thing, sir. Try to turn off your internet and turn it back on because uh, currently it is not showing any internet connection. Oh my gosh! You want me to turn my freaking computer off and back on? No, no, sir. On your. On your on your cell phone, sir. On your cell phone. Oh, turn the Wi-Fi on and off. Yes. Okay. Uh, Wi-Fi off. I'll even turn mobile data on and Wi-Fi on to prove to you that it works. And I'm gonna go on eBay right now. Boom, eBay. Not on eBay, sir. On on any desk. You have to open on any desk. Okay, open any desk again. Same number. It is one. It's obvious my account has been hacked and Amazon's trying to cover it up. It's trying to cover up a f f malfunctioning server from the Amazon side that's gutting my account like a freaking rotten fish. No, sir. Basically, I'm trying to uh, like connect you without verification server, but it's not getting connected due to some reason. Let me check it once again, okay? Yep. <laughs> How can I assist you? Yes, we just got disconnected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your name? So, in case I need to call back. Mike Miss Mike. Mike? Mike what? Mike Walter, sir. I might not sound like a Mike Walter because that's a sewer name. It's a sewer name? Yeah. Uh, why would you say that about your name? Sorry, sir? Why would you insult your name like that? Sir, it's a pseudonym, sir. Pseudonym. Oh, pseudonym. Well, what's your real name? My name is Rick. Your real name is Rick. Rick yes, what? I'm basically from China. You're basically from what? I'm basically from China, sir. Rick from China. Yes, sir. Ni hao. Ning wa he de. Hong ye wu da. You know how to speak. You know how to speak China? Yes. So answer me in Chinese. Ding wang de de. Ning wa de wu. What an idiot. <laughs> Thank you for calling Amazon. This is John. How can I help you? Yes, John. I was just speaking to Mike Walter, who also goes by Rick from China. Can uh, you put... Huh? Nay. What? Nay, I'm saying, brother. What do you say? Bol, bol. Bol, what's your job? Bol, bol. Prank call or... 
बैंक लो रे अरे बोल ले यार बहन जो बहन चोद मारदा चोद कब चोद उधर ही बस रवि काट लेना बिहारी बिथवा Amazon how can I help you Yes I need to speak to Punjabi Munda Rick from China please Aki tu to behani ke 